Well, good morning, magandang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today is build date 58. Yes, build date 58 on the construction schedule of the pool build in the backyard of Villa Feliz. Some more exciting painting today. Some electrical, some rock work. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the same stuff that has been going on for the past few days, but the painting is the really exciting part. And we're under the bridge this morning. We're going to go check that out in just a moment. Let's go ahead and check it out. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. <laughs> Now when I said rock, rock work, really the, no rock work, it's just finishing of the rock work that we have. And that's doing the, the cement fill, uh, basically a little bit of mortar that goes in between the oral stone, just like you would do grouting on tile. And that's what they're working on right here. So that's what is being done when I talked about the rock work. Painting, remember yesterday started the detailing, the, the entire top of the bridge, the, the tire coat, Pretty much got done uh, we just have to do a little bit of touch up where we have a little bit of white sticking up yep and this is <laughs> and our artist over here obeng the artist at work he's doing the uh, the detailing of the chaco in between each one to make it look like like simulated wood grain now somebody was asking yesterday what does it look like underneath the bridge well of course yesterday was done doing the prep work you using the boys in 701 to do the base coat. Let's take a look at what this young man is doing down here right now. <laughs> I, okay, so I just looked and I'm like, oh, this isn't the color we picked up for here. And Obing just said to me, wrong color. Yeah, so I guess this is just one layer that's gonna go underneath. And also this morning, electrical, there's a lot of electrical that's going on. These are going to be the switches, uh, the box for the transformer, all the electrical work that's going to be making this amazing at nighttime, and the pump work during the daytime and the nighttime. So Royal is going to be working on that today. Uh, we'll follow up throughout the day to see how this is going. <laughs> I, even sometimes I don't get it right so we're, we're gonna try something a little bit different I'm not I'm not too happy about the the changes in the colors here and uh, I'm not sure that this works so what we're going to do is sort of like what you see underneath here I don't know if you can see the color so well but we're pretty much going to bring this color back down here we're going to make this instead of looking like an iron metal iron works kind of a support we're going to change it over to something that looks like all wood it looks like wood on the top simulated wood and simulated wood here as well uh, so we're starting I'll show you on the other side So we're gonna go ahead and try repainting this right here. The underneath, I, I kind of like the color of the underneath. Eventually, this is going to look like it's going to look like wood. Um, once they get the final and do whatever the special, the special effects that they do underneath here that make it look like wood. I really like this. Uh, but and I want this whole thing to be like one segment, like wood underneath supporting wood on the top. We're gonna see how that goes. I'm like again, I'm not real happy with this combination here. Alright, All right, well it is time to start installing some lights. Uh, those lights that I showed you that the, the electrician brought the other day, we're going to start with our first one over here, which is going to be that multi-changing light right underneath the waterfall. And speaking of our electrician, he is also doing the wiring for the lights that are going in the bridge as well. I gotta tell you, I just noticed something. This is like the smallest hammer I've seen in my life. 
<laughs> this, is, this, is a, this is actually a down summer. Ah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I thought this was the smallest, the smallest arm I'd ever seen, the smallest hammer I've ever seen in my life, until my electrician, Joel, showed me his hammer. <laughs> <laughs> and this is his hammer. <laughs> but I gotta tell you, he showed me. Inside, this is like really cool. Inside is all these other kind of tools that you take the top off and you have like little screwdrivers and little little things that I guess electronics people need. So part of the mounting of the lighting kit, you'll install a mounting bracket uh, on the wall. Of course, you'll have your rough in already for your wire. It's gonna connect to your light itself. Then, next thing, the light here. The light itself will then be mounted here. So it'll hook right here, and the screw will secure it to the top. And it'll mount flush against the wall. Okay, so now that you see we have our base coat, this is our base coat. Remember, on the top, we have the design already for the grain. But you're probably wondering how are we going to get grain colors all through here and on through the side here? Well, I'm going to show you. <laughs> Take a look at these little things. <laughs> these are what they're going to use. This is like a kind of roller. They'll put some paint on there and they will roll it just like this right here. And that will provide a, a look and, and I won't say a feel, but a look like real uh, um, grain, wood grain. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they mix up the two so that you have different patterns, but they will show us tomorrow. Well, it's about to rain right now, but we're going to do, maybe even in the rain, we're going to do a few shout outs. We have some oh. birthday, we have some birthday shout outs uh, for the first one starting on December 10th. December first 10th. one is for December 10th. And it goes out to Harley Artimato. Harley said he is vacationing right now and he's going to watch this from yes. Myrtle Beach, yeah. South Carolina. I Yay! Miss, and who, South Carolina. Who, yes. And who's our, <laughs> who's our second <laughs> birthday shout out for it? Oh, this goes to Ethan Brill, brother of Mike Brill. And he's turning. 46. 46. Uh, also on December 10, right? Yes. Also on December 10th. And Mike, Mike is always writing into the comment section <laughs> of our vlog. So thank you, Mike, for all those great comments. And I, oh, oh my goodness, the rain is coming down. <laughs> okay, quick, before the before we get sucked yeah. here. And our last birthday shout out goes to the Asawa of James Holbrook. His wife, Cynthia, is turning 43 today. Yes. Oh, and there was something special. Oh, I know it was special. <laughs> James sent a picture of he oh, and yes. Cynthia together. We're gonna show that to here before. Beautiful. beautiful couple. Anyway, to all three of our birthday recipients, for December 10th, we want to wish you all a happy, happy birthday. birthday. Well, it's raining. Uh, you probably noticed I didn't do a drone video today because about the time that I would normally do a drone video, it started raining. That's about the time that Ness and I did the shout outs. Uh, and I don't really like putting the drone up. It's not advisable to fly in the rain if you want to keep your drone. Uh, so I want to keep my drone. So today will be no drone video. What we'll, we'll do right now is we'll go ahead and do a wrap up. It's still raining, but it's just very light. I won't melt. At least I don't think I'll melt. I hope I won't melt. Well, let's go ahead and go down inside the swimming pool and take a look at uh, what was accomplished for it today. Now, before we actually go in the swimming pool, I just wanted to show you, we're, we're pretty much done with doing all the grouting of, I think, I think all the uh, Al Stone. Uh, I know they did it over there, they did it over here, and I'm pretty sure they're done over here as well. They just have to do some, I think some of the muriatic acid wash to make the Ardal stone as clean as what we have on the inside. I think that's the last thing that they'll do is, uh, when they're doing the cleanup of everything out here. Uh, so this is what was accomplished out here. Uh, I think I'm gonna take my shoes off and go inside here so I don't get mud tracked inside on this white stone work inside here. Okay, so I just wanna do an explanation about, yeah, I, this does look bad and we've had a few people made a comment about it and I tend to agree with them that we're not doing a real good job. My design was really bad here for the top. So what we're going to do based on some of your, your comments and your suggestions, we're gonna do something that you guys said and I, something that I was thinking about doing anyway. Uh, I asked our foreman, I asked our foreman uh, Obang if we have any leftover after we fix, because this has to be completed here. Uh, we're gonna get to this in just a minute. If we have much more of the pebble rock left over, if we have enough, 
we're going to do pebble rock on the top of here. And what we'll do is we'll make a little bit of a, just like the coping, a little bit of it like a bull nose that goes around the edge of this first section. I think that'll look nice here. And then we can always deal with whatever we want to deal with underneath here. Uh, it'll probably be, we'll just clean up this paintwork here. I think that'll look nice. We'll have a nice finished pebble rock. And I got to thinking, if you have paint up here and you have cups and you're moving cups and all things that, you're going to eventually start scratching on the paint that's on here. And uh, I think it's going to rub off after all. If we have the, the pebble rock sewn on the top here, uh, it will always be good. It will always look really nice. So I think that's what we're going to do here. Uh, the next thing, like I just allured to right here, they buried inside here, they buried the junction box. And on top of the junction box, they will do a finish of the remainder of the, the pebble rock here for the coping that goes around the entire planter. Also, as you can see, uh, more painting went on today on the bridge. Uh, whether you like it or not, I don't really, I, I like it. I, I, it was better than what we had. So what we're going to do is tomorrow, which I spoke about earlier, they're going to use that little designing device that they have. And what they're going to do is they're going to make some really neat designs on here. According to our foreman, Obang, he said, he is the guru on doing all of the, the artistry work. So we're going to see what that looks like tomorrow. That, that should be pretty interesting. That's going to be on the sides, underneath, and on the other side as well. Let's look down inside the swimming pool. Now, right now, our electrician has really been busy today. He's had a lot of, a lot of wiring he's been doing, a lot of connection, connections. Well, he's kind of, oh, he's actually installing the light there. Uh, this is what it started with. He did the wiring and they got the housing installed for the, the lights that are going down inside here. And these are going to be the warm white lights that are going to illuminate my, this area right here, one down for this little corridor. And that's what he's installing right now. He's installing the light on that one. We should be, I think we should be testing some of this stuff out maybe tomorrow because I think he'll have the electrical in and possibly, possibly if we get all of the Huh? The p painting done all here, we might be doing a cleanup and putting water. We might be actually putting water in the pool tomorrow. Not a big deal, but one of the things we did, we put the little flapper valve here for the skimmer. It was just basically sticking it inside the little, little two holes that hold on the little hinge inside there. Uh, we still have to do the one over there. I think we have to find some of the parts of that. Oh, also down here. Uh, the changing color light, we are close to getting that installed. I think that will be installed before close of business today. Now something else you did not see. The, uh, all the electrical, it's kind of an echo inside here. Uh, but look at the switches and look at the nice, the nice marks. This guy does a great, this electrician is just, he's just out of this world. Uh, very detailed. Uh, so we have our power supply or our transformer for our lights. Our circuit breaker panel box over here. And we have our light switches here for all the lights. We have full control, full control of all the lights. Uh, we have a light inside here so we can see things at nighttime when we need to turn on lights or do whatever we need to do. Uh, something I got to tell you, I approached the, the electrician today about a transformer box right here. Now transformer boxes need to be bonded. I didn't even bring that up to them earlier when we said we needed to, to ground or bond electrically the, the ladders. I said we have to do the grid. I said we have to do the pump once we get the pump in. And I th oh, those were the three things that we had to, to ground, electric ground to the, the copper ground in in the in, in the in the ground <laughs> I failed to mention the the transformer also needs to be electrically bonded as well because that's 220 uh, to 12 volts over here and by the way that is 12 volts AC not 12 volts CC I, I have to I have an alibi I made a mistake earlier in the in the episodes and I was talking about DC voltage for your LED lights uh, the standard I found out later on is it's a 12 volt AC it's a very low voltage uh, of AC that uh, most transformers for pool lights go with. Uh, I, I just learned it out myself. Uh, but when I heard him say it was AC, I said, oh, we need to electrically bond this uh, to the, our ground. 
And I came back here and I was talking with him and he said, oh, I already did that. He knew ahead of time that this had to be electrically bonded regardless. And he showed me the wiring and we're safe with this one right here so that we don't get shocked inside the swimming pool. All right, well, we are closely getting to the end of this entire project. I keep saying only a couple of days away. Well, today I'm gonna to say a couple of days away. I think we're supposed to be done by Saturday. I originally thought we were gonna be on Thursday, then Saturday. Now I'm saying Saturday or, or Sunday, uh, but very, very soon. Now when they say they're gonna start putting water inside the swimming pool for testing, that's always a good thing. That's, that, that's a really, that means you're getting really close to the end. And I think that's what we're doing tomorrow. I think, we'll see. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen you'll be subscribed and notified next time i upload a new video so until such time from right here in the philippines you have a wonderful and blessed day today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well <laughs>